Our next guest does not need any introductions because we know him very well from Supernatural, Watchmen, and The Walking Dead. And it's an honor to speak today about his new horror movie called The Unholy with Jeffrey Dean Morgan himself, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, thank you, brother. It's great to see you. Hey, nice to see you too. I'm so excited to have this conversation, man. So about this movie, I want to ask you, what is it about and what can we expect from it? Um... Well, it's it's uh, it's about this kind of disgraced reporter, kind of a, a rudderless, moral, questionable journalist who stumbles on onto this story uh, of a young girl that has somehow channeled Mary, uh, and I just will say Mary, um, <laughs> and witnesses a miracle, and that's kind of where our story kicks off. But we find out rather quickly that it's not the Mary that we we're kind of hoping uh, and thinking that she had been channeled. So it's uh, a different entity. Um, and therein lies kind of the horror thriller side of things. And and I, I hopefully what we've got here is a film that people want to see that can kind of, uh, they can escape for an hour and a half out of this crazy fucking world that we're living in. And uh and uh, have a have a good time, have some laughs, and maybe kind of scare the crap out of them. That's what what we hope. Of course, we will. In many of your roles, you always seem to fight against monsters and demons. Did you ever have to face one, metaphorically speaking, in your life? I mean, you know, we've faced a monster for the last four years <laughs> yeah. here in the United States. Um, uh, no, I mean, I, I not that I know of. Um, I think that's why I'm kind of attracted to fighting those uh those entities uh, on screen because <laughs> yeah um, my life here is really just kind of being a dad um and so at work i go and kick people's asses and then i come home and <laughs> and i cuddle with my kids um sure. no i uh so far so far not any monsters or demons in my real life that i know about uh, oh, that's a good to know <laughs> yeah yeah how about you? Many years ago in a photography, one demon appeared just beside right here oh. in my shoulder. So I had to delete the photograph because I didn't, I didn't want to take that energy to my house. So I was like, no, no, hell no, I don't need that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. I'm agreeing with you. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm open to all of that. I like to, uh, I like to be, I like to be open to the thought that any of that kind of stuff could happen. But, um, you know, while we were shooting this movie, uh, uh, I had weird things happen. When we were shooting the possession, we had some weird things kind of happen on set. Oh my god! Um, what? Like what? Well, like like the sets burned down. Like uh, there's just like weird shit that shouldn't have happened. Like it doesn't happen on any movie, and then <laughs> that movie, all this weird stuff happened. Oh my god! Um, on this movie, we shot uh, at this inn outside of Boston that is apparently haunted, and I I'm always like, okay, yeah. Uh, and my wife and kids, we went and celebrated uh, one of my my little girl's birthday. We took her to lunch there. She too, you know, did, she didn't yeah. care. <laughs> but we, yeah, we went to lunch there, and we went to apparently the most haunted room uh, of this uh, of this inn that we were shooting in. And every photo that we took in this room, there was an orb. Oh, there my was God. Uh, every <laughs> single picture, and we took like fifty pictures. Um, <laughs> And I was like, come on. I'm like, you guys have crystals like hanging up somewhere, you know, in a corner. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Real, you have something. to believe. You yeah. have to believe. <laughs> but uh, but I, I have all the pictures still, but just a little orb. I didn't have any, no, you know, the hairs weren't standing up and nothing yeah. crazy happened. But that, that, was, uh, that was the thing. Those little orbs were around. Yeah. Or, or Jeffrey, uh, what about the miracles? Have you been in the presence of one? No. No, I haven't. And I would like to be. Um, I think when the Seahawks won the Super Bowl, that was kind of a miracle. <laughs> um, that was my sports team that I that's the only miracle, miracle on ice. Um, um, but no, I've not witnessed uh, anything near as cool as Jerry Fenn witnessed. Uh, um, I, but I, again, I want to say that I am so open to it. I would love yeah. I would love to witness it. Definitely. Have you? Again, I'll ask you. Have you ever witnessed a miracle? Well, uh, yeah, the birth of my child for me was a miracle. So, so what it was, was the birth of 
for my child. Oh, so there like, you go. Yeah. And, hey, that's a way better answer than my sports team. Yeah, <laughs> the birth of my kids. Yeah, yeah. That's Thanks for asking, though. Thanks for that's, asking. A, that's a way better answer. Yeah, yeah. The Jeffrey, I gotta ask you one because I'm so pumped the Walking Dead. So about the season finale, what are we gonna see from Megan? What can we expect from the final tension? That uh, well, the, the last fight? episode uh, that airs this weekend when Unholy opens is the Here's Negan episode. So it's the it's the story of Negan and and uh, how he came to be the man that he is now. Um, and Robert Kirkman had written the comic book, Here's Negan. And so we kind of had that as a foundation. Uh, we got my wife to come in and play Lucille. Um, and it's a, I think it's a great story. It's going to be a great episode. And, and that airs Sunday. So look, the deal is go see The Unholy. And yeah, you go see that Friday or Saturday, Sunday matinee. And then you watch The Walking Dead that night and just have a Jeffrey Dean Morgan weekend. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we expect that. We expect that way with so uh, urgency. So where are you yeah. at, by the way? Where am I at? I'm in Georgia. I'm shooting. Oh, yeah. I'm shooting. in my backyard of my Georgia house. This is the first day off I've had in like two months. Um, and uh, so, yeah, they're just, they're just at my house here and, and, uh, and talking to you guys. Oh, Jeffrey, it was such an honor to speak with you, and we are ready to be scared this April, too. Well, we wish you the best in the project to come and help me. It was a dream come true talking to you. Uh, my dream, too. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it. Thanks. See ya. All right, man.